I'm the global CISO and uh, head of cybersecurity for Petrofac. Petrofac is a global uh, MNC headquartered in London. We are an $8 billion uh, company, primarily in the oil and gas uh, industry, with close to 12,000 employees. So the primary job of a CISO is to protect the company from external cyber threats, insider risk, and ensure we stay compliant as per the local regulations. So in my previous role, I was working on multiple industries and I was touching uh, banking as one among them. So the key difference I see between banking, uh, a CISO in the banking industry versus an oil and gas CISO is uh, fundamentally the role is still the same, right? We need to protect the company from external attacks, internal threats, and make sure we stay compliant. But when you try to protect your company, right, what is critical to you, right? It differs from industry to industry. So maybe for a bagging CISO, what he will be more focused about is actually making sure his confidentiality and integrity of his critical data, his key systems, IT systems are up and available, his external facing applications are not compromised, right? Uh, from an oil and gas industry point of view, the biggest risk that I'm focusing or the biggest risk I'm seeing in this industry is we do deal with a lot of operational technologies. And some of the sites where we operate are not right quite easy to you know be there. It's like rigs onshore and offshore, so it's quite uh, I will say challenging environment compared to a normal IT you know environment. So some of the systems which we have set up there running right is quite old right and it's operational. So the key challenge for us is how to make sure you know we prevent any threats on our key infrastructure, and we do it by pro protecting it by putting compensating controls on the pit. I think uh, our first line of defense or even first line of failure is our employees itself. So I think uh, security training or cyber security training for our employees on the field is quite critical. We need to drive the cyber culture in the company. And you know, we cannot make sure, we cannot enforce cyber by running, you know, by few employees working in the cyber security function. Rather, every single employee should have certain level of understanding on the risk and you know, a certain level of cyber discipline they should follow and training is a key way to achieve that right so when especially when in ot environment when people touch multiple old systems right they may have to use you know things like usbs for operational need but training helps them to understand you know what are the things they can do and what are the things they should not do i think cyber is evolving uh, there's a lot of new areas of risk coming in but also the new areas of you know, solutions and new technologies coming in it's getting quite quite interesting uh, and it's always interesting as <laughs> area. The, the only message I'd like to talk about is actually how you should focus between your prevent, detect and respond. Uh, traditionally, we focus to prevent an attack or protect our company from the attack, but we can also scale up our investment a bit more on how to detect an attack first and how to respond to that. So that can be a balance there can be shifting balance in terms of investment made to detect and respond areas compared to 